Anderson. <clears throat> 4K daylight viewable ultra bright camera monitor. Hey yo, what's up everybody? It is your boy Brandon and you know what? When I'm out on location and I'm doing my videos and a lot of people are asking me like, what is that thing on top of your camera and what are you using up there? When I'm doing video, normally I always, I'm normally used to using my Atomos Ninja, all right? Because sometimes I wanna probably record and I just love the diversity of being able to use it as a HDMI monitor only and also record with it. But as we go into the summer months and it gets brighter outside, it's really, really hard. One of the biggest problems with the Atomos is just it's just really, really hard to see the screen because it's only like a thousand nits. I don't really like using it a lot. And I've always kind of been in the market for looking for a new monitor um, to use on top of my cameras. Even when it's nice and decent outside, I still want something that's like crazy bright. So. The people over at Anderson reached out to me and they are sponsoring this video but again they do not get this video they did not see this before I post this video but the people over at Anderson sent me a monitor that I think I have really fell in love with let's go ahead and get into it I'm not gonna take too much of your time I'm just gonna cover a few things about this monitor um, and show you why I absolutely love it let's go this is the Andesign 5.5 4K C5 HDMI monitor only touchscreen. But let's go ahead and get into it and then we're going to go over a few things and I'm going to tell you why you probably should go ahead and pick up this monitor, all right? Here we go. This is the Andesign 5.5 daylight viewable touchscreen monitor. So I'm going to read off a few things on here right before we get into it. Um, some of the perks that you can get with this uh with this monitor 4k touchscreen you can add 3d LUTs on here you can also do ocr in and out full hdmi and it also has a dc out if you want to go ahead and plug it up um a few things over here also it has 3d LUTs, it has waveform exposure histogram zoom in nine grid um false colors vector scope uh peaking filter image of flip so you can flip it upside down depending on how you have it mounted embedded audio in anamorphic mode Ooh, that is a lot to pack let's go ahead and get to it so when you first get it it's gonna come in this really tight uh, box here oh my god it comes in this cool little case now I already kind of have this open as you can see but it's all good we're gonna play with it anyway all right getting this out of the way another box all righty so first open it up we have our 5.5 lcd screen here um, as you can see just going over a little bit it has your power on off button right here uh, where it has your uh, your touch also you can turn touch on and off with this one uh, has a really big fan right here on top it has your menu um, roll scroll right here now you can also use this menu to uh, scroll right here you can also press it in when you press your enter buttons and everything also um, rotating to this side it also has <laughs> uh, HDMI in HDMI out so you can go out to an external monitor just in case you need that um, it also has a uh, headphone monitoring if you have headphones you want to plug in your audio headphones to monitor your audio you can do that also bam, bam, bam. all right right here on the bottom now you also have uh, DC in uh, 12 volt out um, 12 volt in uh, DC 8 volts out you also have a three-quarter screw on the bottom you also have a SD card slot right here also if you want to load your 3d LUTs anything like that um, you can also do that right here so pretty pretty basic stuff now if you wanted to compare the size of the Andesign 5.5 to the Atomos so the Anderson is a 5.5 inch monitor. The um, the Atomos Ninja is a five inch monitor. So you have a little bit more real estate um, on the um, 
on the Anderson than you do on the uh, Atomos also. Just to show you guys a quick comparison and you know the size of it. Now the Anderson is really basically all screen, all right? That's why the Atomos kind of looks bigger. Now the Anderson, the biggest thing that love people love about this monitor is that this monitor is has like 3,000 nits on it. Freaking crazy, it's ultra, that's why it's called ultra bright. The Atomos only has like a thousand net monitor, so it's definitely much. You're gonna definitely see a difference. I'm gonna show them to you now, um, here shortly. But you can definitely see a difference in this monitor versus the other monitor when it comes to display. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into what else do you get with the Anderson 5.5. So, uh, one other thing, you get this. Um, you got you got this nice little elbow here. It comes with an Allen wrench also. So when you mount this, you have that. Uh, you have a you have a micro HDMI cable to uh, full HDMI. All right. Uh, what else do you get in here? Stuff, 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 stuff. You get your instruction booklets. Get your instruction booklet with a cloth in here. You also get a um, Type C to USB A cord in here also. Now another amazing thing about this Anderson, you're we're normally used to. Ooh, these batteries right here, these big NPFC batteries right here. Well, the Anderson actually comes with, this is incredible. It comes with a battery, but this one has a USB-C charger. That's why you get the USB-C cable in here because you can actually plug your USB-C port charger into the battery and then plug this in and actually charge your battery this way instead of going you know coming home putting it on the charger and anything like that you can actually charge your battery with a USB C port that is dope how dope is that you don't get that with a lot of things so um definitely it's so funny because if you run in something like a, um, a V mount battery or something that you can plug your battery into you can pretty much run this all day and have it charged pretty much all day it's absolutely insane it's all kind of different ways you can do that I really only want to show you the brightness of the uh, the monitors itself but you can already see how much brighter the Anderson is to the Atomos. It's crazy. I absolutely love it. Now I'm mounting my Anderson here on my um, Feutech A2000, but my A7S3 uses a full HDMI cable. All right, so this does not come with a full HDMI to full HDMI. So I do have one of my favorite cores right here. Um, so I'm going to mount this. We're going to go out um, into here. All right. I'm gonna mount this right here to my A7S3 because it uses a full HDMI. So you gotta make sure you got full to full. So you have to buy this cord separately, all right? You have to buy this cord separately. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we're gonna look here and see if we can get a signal. And then bam, there you go. All right, guys, so I'm going to go over a few things with this Anderson 5.5 ultra bright screen here that I absolutely love. So, um, first of all, when you have your Anderson on here, you can actually swipe up and you can see right here at the bottom, it says volume on here. So you can actually change your volume just by swiping up. And then also on the left hand side, if you swipe up. Um, you can actually adjust the backlight. All right. Without going into anything else. So. Um, there you have it right here. So swipe up on this side, swipe up on here. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, you can also get to your quick links right here. All right. So if you have want to get to something really, really fast, you can also swipe up from the bottom here. So also at the top, it, as it tells you, uh, when you're looking at your menu here, let me swipe down. Let's see here. All right. Let's see here. Uh, bam, bam, bam. All right. So we're good. So now also when you let's go ahead and go to the menu system and show you how this is. And I'll just go over a few things on the menu system here. So when you press the, the volume or you press your knob in. All right. You want to press it in to come up with your menu system. So on your menu system, you have your assist. You have your marker image user options and system. So I'll go over a few things that I like in these menu systems that I actually use on here um, very much. So so starting with the sys. Um, what you can do, you can also use your wheel and you can scroll down. That's how you scroll the different ones. All right. So when you want to go into your assist, you want to press it in. All right. And then it's going to bring up the drop down menu for assist. So you have analysis. Um, you also have now analysis. If you turn your analysis on, it's going to show you your waveform. It's going to show you your histogram. It's going to show you um, the vector scope. It's going to show you all these different things on um, one. You can touch the. You can press. 
on or touch the screen to take your menu system off. But right now, it's going to show you all these things off here at once if you want that. If you don't want that, you just go back into analysis and just turn it off. All right. All right. Or you can use your finger. Uh, waveform. You have your waveforms on here like I just showed you. If you just want your waveform on here at the bottom, you can turn that on just like that. You can also adjust the colors. Um, you also have vector scope, histogram, focus assist, um, audio, me audio meters and things. So two of the things that I like to use in here, first of all, is I like to use, I don't use focus assist a lot because I shoot manual and I auto focus on the um, Ace on Sony series is perfectly great. Uh, so I don't use focus it, but if you want to turn on focus assist, you can also see what's in focus. You can adjust the, the volume of the focus and you can also turn the colors of the focus if you want to. But right now it just tells you everything that's in focus if you want to use that. Um, so I'm going to go back into focus assist. I'm going to turn that off and you can, like I said, you can adjust the focus level and everything to make it really hit or not. Audio meters. I love using audio meters. As you can see, my audio meters is on. So when my camera is actually recording my audio meters on here will go up and down and that lets me know that uh, my audio is working because a lot of times using the road you know a lot of times you have to check your road you know levels and things see make sure that's going you have to look at your screen on your monitor to make sure it's going but when everything is plugged in through hdmi it shows up right here and i know i'm getting good audio so i always keep my audio meters on right here you also have zebras and you also have check field on here. All right, so going down now, so we're gonna close assist. We're gonna go down to marker, all right? And as you can probably see, I also have a red marker right there. That just makes me know that everything is right there in focus. So you also have cross hatches right here. Um, you have the safe areas on here on the sides, so you can make sure you don't stay in the area. You also have crosshairs right here. Now I have crosshairs on. You can also change the color of your crosshairs also. Uh, let's see here. All right, and uh, you have cinema ca uh, cinema guys also. So if you're shooting in a certain format and you want your camera to shoot in that format, you can also adjust uh, the formats um, or the marker lines on your monitor. Also, make sure you get that right guide that you need to shoot in that um, and shoot in that frame. Let's see here. All right, let's go. All right, so you got image right here. You have scan, aspect ratio, anamorphic. If you want to shoot in anamorphic, zoom titles and freeze. Um, and then under user options, you have HDMI mode, you have LUTs where you can actually add um, LUTs. You can also change it if you wanted to want your camera to show in S-Log2, S-Log3. Um, you can also turn those on also. And it's, now if you try to import a LUT, if you turn it on, it's going to say right here, uh, SD fail because you don't have an SD card in there. So it's going to pull your LUTs from. So you can also do that. Uh, let me see display setup. Like I said, brightness. You see, can get this thing can get really, really bright. I want to just make sure it just stays normal. You can adjust the sharpness and things like that. And then also you can um, put on color. And color gets you adjust your color temperature, your CTT or your Kelvin. Um, if you're trying to match something with your camera and it's not matching up, you can get it matched as best as you can. All right. And then under system. Um, you also have the wheel where you can actually have your wheel either adjust your backlight or your volume. You can adjust that in your wheel. You have your language. Um, you have the OSD setup. So OSD can have your um, your display, your timing, your alpha, all of that stuff in there. And then you also have your volume um, on your um, camera right here. If you want to adjust your volume, mute, all of that stuff is right here. So. All right, guys, and I told you, like, this wasn't going to be a really, really long video, but I definitely wanted to show you the monitor that I use now and I've been using on top of my cameras when I'm recording or when any of my friends are helping me record. They always use this Anderson C5 because I just love it because it's, it looks small. It doesn't weigh a lot. It's very small and compact, but it's a big 5.5 inch screen. And I love the USB charging on the battery. That is just amazing not only that i love how bright it is that is 3000 nits for a monitor like this um 4k monitor is really good and this monitor goes for 229 dollars that's what it's showing right now um but this monitor is amazing i absolutely love this monitor man um this is this is what i'm using now so going forward so i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope i answered some questions for you i hope i showed you some comparisons and how you see the size between this one and the uh in the uh, Atomos Ninja 5, um, but it's a monitor. It's an HDI. It's the HDMI monitor. There's a thousand of them out there right now. Um, but for this, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I, 
I'm, I'm blown away by it. big big shout out to uh Anderson for it. All right, that's all my time, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.